How to Train Your Dragon. At the first of the movie, we are shown the north of Burke Island. In the next scene, dangerous dragons have all entered the town, including the most dangerous Ministry Nightmare Dragon. Dragons are entering all towns and attacking the village. Hiccup works as an assistant near Gobber. Hiccup also wants to fight and kill the Nightmare Dragon and feel great, but Gobber says. You can't even hold a hammer. You can't bear the strength. You can't cry. And asking me if you'll kill the dragon. He tells him to go and work first. The village is destroyed, but no one could end the nightmare. Gobber also goes to fight. Hiccup, looking for time, comes out with a weapon to shoot a dragon. As he shoots a dragon, screaming sound comes from a distance. Now he feels like he's hit the dragon. But the dragon comes from behind, and attacks Hiccup. The valid chef comes there and fights with the dragon and saves the Hiccup. In this scene, we know that Hiccup is the chef's son. Then the chef tells him that it's not easy to kill a dragon. He tells him to go home and leaves Hiccup at home. But Hiccup comes out from the back door. Villagers, on the other hand. Have a meeting where they think we should either die or kill the dragons. After they meet, the chef and Stoic decide to train Hiccup together. On the other hand, he goes into the forest in search of a dragon. As he crosses the trees, he sees a dragon lying near one of them. The dragon is tied with a rope. Immediately, Hiccup takes a small knife and ties the rope with the knife. And immediately, the dragon gets up and screams. And comes to kill the hiccup, but the dragon goes away without killing the hiccup. At home, his father is waiting for him to talk. There, the chef tells hiccup that training will start tomorrow morning, as you wanted the training. Hiccup tells him that he doesn't want to kill the dragon. He says, Gobber brings hiccup to the dragon killing training center in the next scene. Hiccup is now going to learn how to fight with the dragon, but the rest of the friends make fun of Hiccup. Gobber is now training life, asking what they need to fight first. Astrid says she wants shields, but everyone takes the shield immediately. But Hiccup couldn't even carry the shield. Gobber keeps giving instructions from the side. Everyone is out. At the end of the attack, Grongle goes onto Hiccup. Almost when attacking, Gopper pulls its mouth with a weapon, controls it, and puts it back in the jail again. As soon as he goes forward, he sees some of its wings lying there, and now he hears a nightmare screaming. He hides from it at the side and draws its picture on the book he has received. Then he noticed one thing: the nightmare sees that one of the little wings has been blown away. The sketch he is toying falls. In the training meeting in the next scene, Gobber gives the dragon manual and tells everyone to read at night. Hiccup starts reading the book. On one page, the nightmare is written on a page that says that the size and speed of the dragon are unspeakable. On the other hand, in training class, they land a dragon named Nader to teach them how to attack the dragon, which fights very dangerously. Gobber tells them to learn how to attack it. Hiccup takes a fish and approaches Nightmare again. He drops the knife as it comes up and takes the fish with his mouth and gives it half a piece to the Hiccup. And then the two look at each other and laugh. Night Fairy has a nickname called Toothless. He gives a Hiccup handshake, but it flies away without giving a hand. Hiccup also wants to go wherever it goes. And make a friendship, but when he sees it angry, he goes elsewhere, where Hiccup sits alone and draws a nightmare figure in the soil with a stick. The nightmare also holds a stick with its mouth and passes it as a road around the Hiccup. He crosses the line without stepping on it, approaches it, closes his eyes, and kisses Hiccup's hand. In the next scene. Gobber tells about his experience in training class. Hiccup goes in and draws the nightmare tail. He puts on a drawing and uses his intelligence.
to make a wing. And the other day, he goes to the nightmare with a wing made of many fish. The nightmare still starts eating, and in the meantime, the hiccup climbs on it and tries to fit the wing. And the nightmare flies at once, thinking he's doing something behind it. And the hiccup goes up, but because he can't fit properly, the ball falls under the hiccup and then falls. Gobber is training teamwork to the class in the next scene, and train. Today he sends the zip black in training. It has two heads. One head drops the gas, the other head gives up the fire. The trainers are all ready with water. In the meantime, the dragon comes there and starts attacking. But in this scene, Hiccup controls the dragon well. With the help of an eel, everyone else is surprised to see Hiccup control. In his room, he makes another wing for the nightmare, which fits and flies up, and the Hiccup also rides on it. And in time, it falls into the grass. In the next training class, he controls the dragon with the help of grass. Then shows in a training class that the dragon can be controlled, even if it touched the neck with his hand, and learns that light can also divert the dragon. He makes it happen. Everyone appreciates the hiccup, but Astrid can't stand it. Astrid scolds and says to the hiccup, "That you are cheating." Hiccup goes back to Toothless, changes a few things, and brings the wing. In the scene. Hiccup sits on its back and goes around the world, but goes down because he's speeding. But somehow Hiccup gets it landed in a safe place as for Toothless, where there are a lot of dragons, and the Hiccup is feeding them, and they also see the Hiccup as a friend. Then he realizes that people's opinion of dragon is wrong, and on the other hand, the chef goes into the sea. And the army returns, and everyone in the village is delighted to hear that Hiccup is controlling the dragons well. Then the chef comes to his son, praises Hiccup for doing something that no one could do in the village. He is very proud and gives him a gift. You need this in the training ring, and say, "You deserve it now. Keep it proud." The next day, everyone comes to the ring where the training is going on. Today, Astrid says, "I will control the dragon. You'll not block my way." But the hiccup controls it before he tries. Everyone declares the hiccup as a winner. Says, "He will get a chance to kill the dragon." The chef is very happy, but hiccup doesn't want to kill the dragon. Hiccup approaches the. Astrid also follows him, and she gets angry with the hiccup, saying, "What are you doing here?" I already know you are cheating," Astrid continues to scold the same thing. When she hears it, the toothless screams angrily and comes to attack Astrid. But the hiccup controls the dragon. He introduces her to the toothless, saying that she is also our friend. Astrid is afraid of it all and runs away from there. Toothless takes her into the air from behind and hangs on a tree. There is no other way. Astrid makes friend with the hiccup. Immediately, the dragon cools down and carefully turns both of them around to the whole Burke Island. Astrid feels very thrilled to see it all. Astrid asks Hiccup what he is going to do tomorrow and whether he should kill the dragon in the final round. Toothless hears it and takes the two to a place. There were a lot of dragons flying. Toothless kept them secret place. So they can see from one side, the dragons were putting the food they were bringing from the men in a big hole, and they understood that it was dragons' nest. And meanwhile, a big dragon would come and eat the food that the other little dragons were dropping, and it also ate the dragon. Seeing all this, the two learned that the dragons were under all the big behave control, and then Aster tells Hecup to go and tell father right away. But Hiccup would not agree with him, for fear of doing anything toothless. You want to keep it a secret for your pet dragon, she asks. The next morning, the chef speaks greatly for his son in front of every one who comes to see the final round in the wing. He has to kill the dragon in the final round, but he tells Hiccup and Astrid to give it an end, saying that if anything happened. 
but they shouldn't find Toothless. A dangerous dragon is dropped in their wing. Hiccup tries to control it, but before it gets cool, the chef shouts loudly and the dragon attacks the Hiccup. He starts shouting in fear of the dragon. And when Toothless hears the scream, he comes to the wing and fights with the dragon. The chef attacked the nightmare. Hiccup controls it when the nightmare is reversing. But eventually, the chef also captures Toothless. And then the chef says, You didn't keep your promise with me, to his son. What's our deal? What you did? Why didn't you kill the dragon? And then the Hiccup says, Dragons are so good. We shouldn't kill them. Please don't kill the nightmare. The dragons are doing so to protect them. And if they don't give them enough food, a big dragon on their island will eat them. When you asked me where the dragon nest is, I didn't know the road. Only the nightmare told me that. And it took me there, says Hiccup. And immediately the chef wants to use the nightmare to find the dragon nest. Hiccup pleads that. He will listen to me at least once. But the chef says, You are not my son, and leaves the hiccup. The toothless is captured, locked in the mouth, loaded into ship, and the army goes to Dragon Nest. And now hiccup is very sad. And now his other friends are joined. And now he has a plan. And on the other hand, the chef goes to the dragon's nest. And when the chef attacks with a weapon, they brought. And all the captive dragons run away and think that the problem has been solved. There, Hiccup's friends pulls out the dragons trapped in the training ring, controls them, and head out to the dragon's nest. The dragon comes out of the cave near dragon's nest, blasts the hill and attacks everyone, destroys the ship, and most of the army is beaten. And the chef, Gobber, comes from behind and starts attacking the big dragon as the chef and Gobber wants to put an end to the dragon at the cost of their lives. Hiccup is trying to free the Toothless, who is tied up in the ship. Meanwhile, the chef comes to help the Hiccup, removes the Toothless chain, and in the meantime the big dragon attacks the ship, so the three of them fall into the sea. But the Toothless saved them and brought them out. And after coming out, the chef says sorry to his son and says he is proud to claim that my son is. Then he sits on the hiccup Toothless and tries to end the big dragon. And there is a long, fierce competition between the two dragons. So the big dragon lets out a fire once. Accidentally, the Toothless wing is blown off and the hiccup goes down in flames and the toothless jump into the fire to save him. And everyone else is worried about what will happen to them. Even if they go and see the flames, the toothless appear, but the hiccup is not seen. Everyone got worried. In the meantime, the toothless takes out the hiccup hidden inside his wings. In the next scene, when hiccup opens his eyes, he sees toothless in front of him. The two stay in their house, where we see that hiccup has lost a leg in the battle, but Gobber set his leg with a spring. And even when he comes out, he sees the dragon and the village all hanging out together. And Astrid also likes the hiccup. The movie ends with his happy moment.